Hi there, welcome back. Book three for the summer reading series. I'm here with my friend Annie. She and I have been friends since I was eight years old. My mom introduced me to Annie when I was eight, getting my tonsils out. Now, if I remember that incorrectly, my mom's watching this video and I'm sure she's gonna correct me on that. But anyway, Annie and I are gonna read the third book today in our book reading series, What Do You Do With The Problem? I just love Kobe Yamada. He has such a way with words and delivers such a great message. So I'm gonna read another book by him. And of course, May Bisom is the illustrator with these amazing, beautiful line work and composition. I love May Bisom's artwork. So here we go. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day, I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted it to go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I ignored it. But nothing worked. <gasps> I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this, I worried about that. It was on my mind all the time. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all, as you can imagine. I couldn't take it anymore, finally. I said, oh, I declared, this has to stop. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up, nor had it attacked me. I realized then that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow and to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now, I see problems much differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. This is a very important page. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. I'm gonna read that one more time. Every problem has an opportunity for good. You just have to look for it. What are problems for? 
problems. They challenge us, shape us, push us, and help us to discover just how strong and brave and capable we really are. Even though we don't always want them, problems have a way of changing us in unexpected ways. So what will you do with your problem? Now that's up to you. That is the end of book three. Fantastic book by Kobe Yamada. What do you do with the problem? Get ready. Book four is on its way. I hope you're having a great summer. See you next time. Bye. Did you push the button? Yeah. Now it is.